I mean, it's not an excuse, but all these things together was a shit day for Peter. And we forget this. We go back to home. He make the operation. He go train, and the next time he's 104 kilo, and he win again. Rush. Okay, bye. あの最後にですねトレーナーのトムからえとまあ補足という感じでえ一言あったんですけれどもまあ確かに今日の試合あの京太郎選手が勝ったと非常に素晴らしいと思いますし。Have a Grand Prix victory, 1998. Six minutes and 43 seconds. It took this guy to run through three opponents all in the first round. to beat Semi Shield. Semi Shield has the formula to beat Peter Arts, both experienced fighters. So all it comes down to is who can impose their will. 
I have never seen someone go to the jawline of Simi like Peter Ertz has in the past. And he goes there again. Smack back on the kisser and the outside thigh kick. And he gets out of dodge. The old man has still got some fancy footwork. Stiff jab from Simi. Peter Ertz, who won the K1 Grand Prix in record time in 1998. Six minutes and 43 seconds until Simi Schultz shattered the record last year, winning in five minutes 52. Overhand run, left hook! Ertz is scoring! Get munching knee! And Schultz plows forward. That one reaching track. Ertz covers up, goes turtle shell. Look at the conditioning here on Ertz. Overhand right by Simeon Ertz rallies back. Toe to toe here in the first round. Right hand backs up Ertz. Ertz goes for the decapitator, the headache maker. Hiding! Ertz has got to get out of the corner. He's got to get out of there. And he does. Simi let him off there. Peter looks in a phenomenal, phenomenal shape. And there he goes to the body, which is what Kiyotaro should have been doing. Will Ertz be the one to stop Simi Schultz? Simi on the front foot now. Ertz came in plus 600 to win the tournament. Schultz at minus 135. Ertz changing levels. Jawline and Sternen. Checks the low kick to Simi. Ertz consistently trying to get to the inside here. Semi with a high knee. You know, the bigger question is, can Peter keep this pace up for the next three rounds, or, or the next two rounds, so to speak? High left round kick from Semi. He's jabbing, he's jabbing. Inside thigh kick from Peter. Now Semi on the front foot again, fires that tip, kick to the midsection, looks for the lever, and stalks forward. He'll try and go Klepto and steal the round. Glancing right hand from the Dutch Lumberjack. Score! End of the first round. Ertz again, plows down the centre corridor. Outside leg kick, and Semi returns the favour. Ertz trying for that tie technique. A little pit pat inside thigh kick off the left leg and then immediately come through with a straight right hand. That was a good kick for the back leg from Ertz. And then he goes for the switch up the front leg. Overhand right from Ertz! And Simi catches him with two clean punches. And Ertz offers his draw! I don't see that offered from Peter Ertz offering a free shot in his jawline. Peter's oh, fired up. Peter is angry for this fight. Referee just cautioning Simic. Ertz is the sentimental favourite for the Grand Prix. He has been in every Grand Prix except last year's edition. This is his 17th appearance in the world's greatest martial arts tournaments. That is phenomenal. The man's been fighting professionally since about 1988. I remember him venturing to Australia when he was about 20 years old to corner Branko Sikatik when Branko fought Stan the Man Longanides. Uh, the doctor will check that. He caught a nasty knee from Peter uh, during a clinch. I mean, I'm sorry, from Sammy. Let's have a look here again. Right hand under the eye there of Peter Ertz. So the ringside physician goes to work on the Right cheekbone of Mr. K1. Semi Schulte is ready and raring to go, as he always seems to be. It's just okay here. That'll be like waving a red flag in front of the charging ball that is Semi Schulte. He's a nasty fighter, Schulte. He'd send the get well letter to a hypochondriac just for fun, and he'll go after that cut now. Every time Ertz lands, even a glancing shot, this yeah. crowd rallies. This Mr. audience, Taylor. which is so uncharacteristic of a Japanese audience, you know, usually they're so quiet. I mean, Peter's got to get out of the corner here. 
You will see the taping around Semi's right shin was cut in the fight against Hesty Churches. So too the left shin is bandaged. Semi has been prone to cutting off both shins throughout his career. And Ertz is aware of that. He chomps to the legs, hoping Semi will try and check the kicks in. Maybe try and get a cut going on Semi's shins. 45 seconds to go here in the second. Ertz comes forward, goes head hunting, misses, and a nice counter left there from Simi. I think Peter's starting to get a little tired and slowing down. He's allowing Simi to, to find his rhythm a little more. The technique not as tight here on Ertz. He comes forward and looks for the liver, then goes over the top of the right hand. Outside five kick from Ertz. That'll all score for him. Body shot, left to the right hand! That scores! Peter Ertz trying to steal the round as that right eye swells shot. Big leg kick, overhand right. Did he do it? Did he do a one over rider and steal a kick mark? You know what? I'm going with the old man. I think the old man saw this round. From the commentary position, Paul Hemmers, Ramon Decker, Plus Boone. Listen to the crowd, the war cries again for Mr. K1. The lumberjack comes forward. Boom to the outside thigh. Ertz's face swollen and cut and bruised, but he still comes forward and scores. He goes head hunting with another hook. He's had more hooks hey. than a pirate's convention. And Semi Schultz has got to start to find range with a jab here, Mike. Yeah. Peter starts out strong in, in the beginning of the round. Hey. He's just got to find a way to keep that momentum throughout the entire round. That's how he won in Korea two years ago. You know, he overwhelmed Sammy. But when he backs away, it gives Sammy that chance to. Oh, and you see the kill to right hand, the gut punching knee. Ertz is scoring in this round. Semi clinching, can't get the knees up on the inside. Fantastic rally here from Peter Ertz, and the referee warns, do not hug. Official caution. Peter's just got to keep up that momentum that he's just generated. He's trying to steal this round. He steals this round, he wins this fight. Ertz with a wild left hook outside, Kike, that scores for him. So to the body shot. And again, Simi ties him up. He may incur the wrath of the referee if he's not careful, Simi Schultz. Big right hand! Peter Ertz says, made Simi Schultz lick the leather on several occasions here in the third. And Peter's doing a good job making him go backwards. That's the thing, that's the key. Make him go backwards and catch him with the right hand. Oh, that's it. Three right hands and a left hook! Semi Schultz wearing more leather than the Blue Oyster Bar. Hey. This is Ertz's round so far. This is Ertz's round 100% hands down. And all he has to do is keep it up for another minute and he will win this fight. And we may see an Overeem Peter Ertz final. Assuming, of course, he gets by Saki. But Peter is on fire here in this round. Can Peter Ertz do it? Can he take Semi Schultz out of the Grand Prix? We have never seen Schultz eliminated from a Grand Prix. Ertz goes to the liver, then goes to the head, then goes to the lead leg. Semi on the back foot. And Semi looks a little tired now. This is one tough old man right here. I'd hate to fight him. Semi's backing up. Peter goes to the body. And Semi clinches with him. Final stages. Exactly what Peter was doing in, yes. in, in Korea. Yes! Oh! Yes! Peter Ertz is scoring! Right. Yes! Oh. You crazy old man! Oh. A standing freak innovation! That draw says the first touch.